Hello everyone and welcome back to another video brought to you by SeniorCatWellness.com. In today's material, we'll be talking about food and if cats will potentially starve themselves because of food or foods that they simply do not enjoy. Cats are finicky eaters and some are certainly more finicky than others. And that can sometimes become a big problem. A problem so great in fact that your cat could potentially refuse to eat altogether aside from treats and other snacks. Before we take a look at this very important subject, let's first explore today's topic overview. Cats will starve themselves if they dislike the food. Even missing a single meal can be detrimental because cats are susceptible to hepatic lipidosis, also known as fatty liver disease. Within 24 to 48 hours of not eating, cats use their fat stores for energy, resulting in liver malfunction. If cats hate the taste of their food, they'll refuse to eat. As a cat owner, you must walk a fine line. While it's vital that your cat eats, you should never force it upon them as that could set even more negativity in motion where your cat will continue to refuse specific foods based on uncomfortable prior experiences. It's all about trying new foods and flavors. And while this can be a very difficult task and certainly a task that can hit your wallet, it's important that your cat find the right food for their health and wellness as lack of daily meals is certainly not an option. Before we take a look at our first video subsection, a big hello to the best viewers on the feline wing of the internet. We thank you so much for choosing Senior Cat Wellness. You are our foundation, and none of this would be possible without your continued support. If you enjoy today's presentation and find it informative, please feel free to subscribe to this channel, like the video, and share the content. It is our mission to serve the feline community and do it with a kind heart and a smile. Thanks for taking some time out of your day to join us, and we do hope to see you again in future content. Now, what to do if your cat is refusing to eat due to some rather unlikable meal selections? Let's take a closer look. Before we navigate the situation and determine ways to fix this issue, it's obviously critical to first recognize that we have an issue. How to tell if your cat is just not into the food? We offer the following ways. First up is the untouched bowl. Not the occasional one-off, but a bowl that has remained untouched for 24 to 48 hours. Next up, a lack of energy. If the bowl has remained untouched for many hours, it will begin to show in your cat's behavior. Lack of energy due to lack of intake is a major red flag. Next up, weight loss. Because all of these signs to look for can go hand in hand. The next logical way to tell that your cat is refusing to eat because of a questionable meal selection is indeed weight loss. Full bowl, no energy. Those pounds will just start to fall off. And finally, howling or frequent meowing for treats. Yes, cat treats. On a personal note, for me, this one might be the kicker. And by kicker, I mean something that can separate this situation from one of a health matter. Let's say your cat has an upper respiratory infection, for example. Well, the full bowl, lack of energy, and the weight loss could be a symptom of the illness, of the infection. Under this tag, we could deem this entire situation to be a health matter rather than a finicky eater. However, if all things are equal, yet your cat is craving those treats, this should raise an eyebrow to let you know that the actual food is being refused, but that your cat's appetite is just fine. Pay special close attention to this one. So, what causes all of this in the first place? Why do cats eat one day and then seemingly shut down the very next and refuse? Is it all about the food itself or can some external factors play a role? Let's take a closer look. First up, let's start with the food. Uh, the first reason is indeed the food, as it should be. It's the obvious elephant in the room. If your cat was eating on a Monday and you switched foods Tuesday morning and your cat hasn't eaten since, you can probably just start right there. This is actually a good thing. In terms of finding the core problem, it's not really a needle in the haystack at this point, but more of a bowling ball in the haystack. 
It was the food change, and it'll be obvious to you. What about lack of routine? So the food is the same, the bowl is untouched. Hmm. Take note of what's going on in your home. Is the feeding schedule a bit off? Cats are creatures of habit. And if your pet has grown accustomed to receiving a meal at a certain time, it doesn't take too much to mess things up. Next up, what about frightened to eat? A little bit, a little bit unnerved and uneasy. Is your house a bit too loud? TV, perhaps it turned up too loud. Young children in the home doing what children do? Your cat could be a bit nervous. I mean, I wouldn't exactly eating, you know, really enjoy eating a steak if someone was yelling right in my ear. Now, put yourself in your pet's position. If mealtime mimics the crowd noise of a college football game, then your pet won't be too thrilled about dinner time. What about other cats or animals in your home? Do you have other cats or animals in your home? Hmm, you might want to start right there if that's you. There could be some sense of competition at stake. Speaking of college football, if your cat's refusing to eat, there could be an act of submission going on where your feline just finds it best not to eat at all. Then be the alpha and fight for the food. Cats, they really don't do too well when it comes to competing for food. They are solitary hunters and they prefer to dine alone. Now, how about this one? Too many treats. We mentioned snack treats a bit earlier. Here's a bit of an interesting one. Is it really the food or is it something else? Is your cat refusing mealtime because your pet's been eating too many snacks? Hey, it's very easy to fall into this trap. Rewarding your cat for good behavior can slowly lead to the realization that too many snacks are being given out. In your quest to train your feline, you've gone a bit overboard. Be mindful of the snacks and make sure that your cat is always hungry and ready for those balanced meals that are essential to good health and wellness. And finally, we have a bit of an interesting one, perhaps even an insane one under Certain circumstances and context. What about the litter tray, the litter bowl? Uh, what about it? Well, it could play a role in your cat's refusing to eat. It's possible, especially if the tray has been relocated and it's a bit too close to the food. This can give your cat an unpleasant experience that can cause your pet, well, to avoid eating entirely. In the most literal sense, starvation is highly unlikely. Unless your pet's refusal has been caused by some type of health ailment like a sickness or disease or a virus your cat will eventually eat. They won't like the food, but if push comes to shove, they will eat. However, this is far, far from a good standing. Eating just so you won't meet your demise, yeah, that's obviously highly unacceptable. One of the most important things to remember in this entire scenario is the long-term effects. If your cat eats once only every 24 plus hours over a period of, say, 7 to 14 days, this can be physically damaging to your pet. This is why this issue needs to be rectified as soon as possible. Please contact your vet if your cat's lack of eating has become a major cause for concern. Your vet can discuss and recommend positive meal alternatives and ways to encourage positive eating without being forceful. And on that note, that will conclude things for the video portion of today's material. However, if you'd like more information concerning the topic of food selections and your cat's mealtime refusals, please be sure to visit us at SeniorCatWellness.com. At the conclusion of today's presentation, there you will find a full-length article dedicated to everything we've talked about here today and so much more. You can find our written content by clicking the initial link in the description box below. And once again, if you enjoyed what we brought to the table here today and would like to see and hear more, please like and share. Please share this video and subscribe to the SeniorCatWellness.com official YouTube channel. It would be greatly appreciated. And until our paths cross again, and I certainly hope they do, we'd like to thank you once again for joining us today. Please have a wonderful day. All the best to you and yours, and we will talk to you later.